Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Destiny 2 video. Well, we're back at it again with some brand new Brave Weapons and a new quest, How at the Moon. We're going to be getting the Luna's How Brave Weapon. I'm going to show you the fastest way that you can get it as well. Let go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. First thing first, you want to head to the Hall of Champions and make your way over to good old shacks now after you finish picking up your bunnies turn to the right there's going to be Aerosite 9940 he's actually going to have the quest that we're looking for call how at the moon now for this quest we need to get precision kills anywhere in the system bonus if we are in onslaught so pick your favorite hand cannon i started off with the survivor epitaph because this has a really good accuracy then I move on to the Thorn, and then I finally landed on the Midnight Coof. Now, by far, this was the best weapon to use. I went over to the Dreaming City because we were going to be using the Shiro Chi Checkpoint. Now, no worries if you don't know what that is, or even if you do, you need a refresher, or even if you need the code, I got you covered right here in this video, short, sweet, right to the point. So first thing first, we want to load into the Last Wish Raid and wait for this entrance over here to open up. Then we're going to follow the direction that I'm going in order to get to the location where we can input the Shiro Chi code. Alright, so let's do this. So follow the direction I'm going. You want to go up at first, jump up once again, and then jump over this large chasm. Now right over here is where we can actually start the real ray, but we're not going to be doing that. Instead, we're going to jump over here to where there is these luminescence plants. They're going to kind of indicate us where we need to go. First, we're going to jump up over here like so. We're going to duck down and then crawl over to the back end side where there is some more of those luminescence plants. If you jump over here, there is actually a path that can take you all the way up. Then you can jump all the way across. And then over here will be the location where you can input the Shiro Chi checkpoint code. Now, I'm going to show you the code, so no worries. What you're going to do is Put in the code by shooting the little panels until you see this code right here. Pause it, put it in, and then you're going to stand on the plate after you finish putting in this code. Then it's going to wipe you, and then we're going to spy it into the Zyro Chi checkpoint. So let's do this. Sitting on the plate, like so, is going to wipe us. Bam, we are done so. And then we're going to spawn in, and here is the Zyro Chi checkpoint. Now, like I said previously, I did a lot of testing with this. First, I started off with the Survivor Epitaph because it's very accurate, right? But it is 180, you know? So when it came to killing the bigger ass, it was a little bit more uh, bullets to put them down. But I also had uh, a little perk on here where I can get arc ability for my weapon. But it didn't matter, it was still decent. I tried that, it was decent. I went with the a lovely sun shot. It was not that great. <laughs> I went in with the thorn. And the thorn did a little bit better than the sun shot. But still, even with the extra ammo in tow, a lot of the lingering damage from the thorn killed a lot of the enemies. And I wasn't getting as many precision kills that I wanted. Then I moved on to the midnight coop. And the midnight coop, by far, was the best out of all of the different hand cannons that I tried. Not saying it's the best, but all, all of them that I tried, this one was really good, and this was the curated roll too. So if you have the Midnight Coop curated roll, you actually have one. That is actually really good. I got around 10% after switching to the Midnight Coop, but here's the thing, it did take a little bit of time to get this done. After the testing, moving on to the Midnight Coop, I will say around between 20, 30 minutes, I would lean more towards 25, 30 minutes to be exact. So this one did take a little bit of time, at least for me, doing this at the Shiro G checkpoint. But it does get the job done. Now that you know, get over there and get after it. And before you know it, you'll be done with this part of the quest step. Step number two, we need to head back to the Hollow Shack. So we're going to head over to the new Hollow Shack for the Luna's Howl. We're going to do that by heading into the Hall of Champions. There is a nice little indicator that will point you in the right direction so long as you highlight the quest. Now, this is going to be the last of the Brave Weapons that we have, at least so far, for this season. After that, 
we're going to visit Shaq and we're going to pick up our brand new weapon. The Luna Howl is back. Now, the curated role for the Luna Howl is actually really good. Now, with this one, you have a handling master work. We have Small Born, Ricochet Realms, Eye of the Storm, and we also have Magnificent Howl, which is absolutely amazing, and Indomitability, making this a pretty fantastic role for the Luna's Howl. So get after it, my dude, and have fun with the brand new Brave Weapons in into the light but for right now that's pretty much going to for the video i hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you are new to the channel hey how you doing and welcome and don't forget to subscribe right here carpal game go to white right video so once again thanks for watching and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later